Zoe Reynolds seems to have it all, a loving husband named Jason, two kids, and a thriving career as the CEO of her own company that helps up-and-coming artists. One night, she goes to an art show featuring Quentin Canoza, and they hit it off with some playful flirting. Later, she swings by his place to talk about a contract. Feeling a wave of guilt, Zoe tries to break things off with Quentin. They have a pattern of splitting up, only to find their way back to each other. But one time, when Zoe decides to reconcile, she walks in on Quentin in bed with his neighbor. The story unfolds as Zoe recounts her experiences to her therapist, Dr. Marcella Spencer. After diagnosing her with a sex addiction, Dr. Spencer suspects that something from Zoe's past is causing her issues and pushes her to open up. Yet, every time the topic comes up, Zoe dodges the question and leaves the session. Zoe's addiction starts to spiral out of control, leading her to hook up with another guy, Coy, whom she met at a club. One day, after work, she walks in to find Coy chatting with her mom at her place. Realizing the mess she's created for her family, Zoe decides it's time to try and mend things with her husband, Jason. She sets up a meeting with both Coy and Quinton at Quinton's apartment and breaks things off with them. Coy gets furious and charges at her, but Quinton steps in to stop him. As Coy storms out, Quinton takes him down with a vase. Zoe, feeling scared of Quinton, tries to calm him down, but he insists she's not going anywhere. Terrified, Zoe grabs some glass art and smashes it between them. She then runs away as Quinton chases her with a knife. Just then, Jason shows up and whacks Quinton with a sculpture, revealing he found out about Zoe's cheating through her phone. Zoe chases after Jason, saying sorry over and over, but he turns her down. In a moment of desperation, she steps in front of a car and gets hurt. They go their separate ways, and Jason checks into a hotel. Zoe isolates herself for a while but eventually decides to attend a sex addiction support group. During the session, she uncovers that her addiction stems from a traumatic experience when she was 10, involving three boys. While sharing her feelings about her husband, Jason unexpectedly shows up, kisses her, and takes her back. The movie ends here, click the subscribe button and like the video.